Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video. I have been very busy lately, which I want to share to all of you why I got so busy lately. <laughs> now, as you can see um, on the title of this video, I have been working for the USPS and I would like to share to all of you my experience and the process until I was able to start working. So, here you go. So guys, my friends has been telling me for years that I should try working at the USPS and I told her eventually I will and I finally did. So let's talk about the process. So I sent my application in around July 20th and I got a response to complete the assessment the next day. After I did it, I got to see my result which I passed. So guys, just so you know, I wrote down the timeline so I will not forget it. <laughs> That's why I'm looking down. So I applied for a couple of locations, one in New Orleans and two in Rhode Island. Um, the reason I applied for New Orleans because I have a place down there, but I didn't hear anything in New Orleans. Pawtucket sent me a job offer and I accepted it right away. The week they requested, the, the week that week they requested a background check it takes a couple of weeks to get the background check completed around first week of august i got an invitation to schedule a fingerprinting which i scheduled it for the end of august because i gotta do something um two weeks before that so while I was waiting for my fingerprinting, I got a job offer at Providence, which is I accepted it and canceled the one in Pawtucket. I just thought that it's better to accept the one in Providence because I live closer to that location and it will work better for me. September 10, they emailed me that they have a location available at Providence and the hours will be around 24 to 40 hours. So I was fine with that, I told them okay. And around end of September, they emailed me the orientation date which is October 5th and 6th. So let's talk about the orientation. It's a two day orientation, nothing crazy happened. It's very relaxing and uh, you get paid for the orientation for two days which is really nice. It's a lot of lectures about the USPS. They talk about the wages, um, safety, rules and regulations. They showed us a short clips about, you know, what would be my job as a PSE, like sorting mails and all that. Very quick video. Um, what else? I think they have more um, orientation days for carriers and other position but as far as i know as a pse um it's only a two-day orientation and the uh, second day of the orientation they talk about the health insurance um they also gave me my schedule for my first day of work which is the next day four o'clock in the morning <laughs> it is difficult at first but you get the hang of it once you start working for a couple of days you just observe and you know watch other people how they do the job and you will learn if you're willing to learn you will really learn and it's not hard it's just probably more exhausting because if you're going to be working around eight to ten hours it's really tiring you'll be standing all day long you get two breaks you get two 15 minutes break and you get also a lunch for 30 minutes so guys so to those of you that have been waiting for the usps for your start date or orientation just be patient because you know the process is very long i'm not sure if it's the same for everybody but it is a long process and if you really want this job you just gotta be you gotta have to have some patience so just don't lose hope it's they're gonna get back to you they will let you know as long as you pass the test they will they will reach out to you so just wait um you know at the same time while you're waiting you can do some stretches you can do some workout yoga so that your body is ready once you start working because i'm telling you 
it's not easy but it's not very hard it's just you know a lot of standing it's a lot of um, it's a lot of work because packages are heavy as well and you will be doing that all day long so just a heads up so that's it guys thank you so much for watching my video and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel see you again bye